welcome to Eternal Manna, the daily devotional broadcast of Grace Gospel Church. Yes, we are looking at the question as to how we can make each other joyful. And yesterday we addressed the pastor. Three ways by which the pastor can make his congregation joyful. Just to repeat, to feed them, to care for them, to comfort and counsel them. Now today I want to flip the coin. How can sheep make the shepherd happy? How can you make your pastor joyful? It's a two-way street, isn't it? Mutual joy. We, we studied that earlier on. So here are the three ways that you can make your pastor joyful. Number one is unity. When the congregation is united, the pastor is joyful. United we stand, divided we fall. I did a whole sermon on that uh, in the month of November. And uh, I'm reading Philippians 2 2, because this was a concern that Paul had for the Philippian church. Make my joy complete. There yeah, you have that word joy. Make my joy complete by being like minded having the same love, being one in spirit and purpose. What a challenge for any local church to make the pastor happy by being like-minded, to have the same love, to be one in spirit and purpose. Always remember, the devil is waiting to destroy the unity of the local church. And we must not become instruments in the hands of the devil to uh, create confusion, conflict, and division in the local church. So number one, we make the pastor happy by being united. Number two and three are taken from one verse, Hebrews chapter 13 and verse 17. Let me read that verse for you. Hebrews 13 and verse 17. Obey your leaders and submit to their authority. They keep watch over you as men who must give account. Obey them so that their work will be a joy. Did you get that word? Joy? So that they are Work will be a joy, not a burden, for that would be of no advantage to you. So secondly, how do we make the pastor happy and joyful? Obedience. In one word, obedience. Obey your leaders. Of course, whatever your leaders are going to ask you to do is going to be biblical. If they ask you to do something that contradicts the word of God, you're free to disobey. But a pastor uses the word of God to give you guidance and to challenge you. And we must be committed to obedience. Obey the Lord by obeying your leaders. So that's the second word. The third word, the third way to make the pastor happy is the word submission. Did you get that phrase? And submit to their authority. Submission. Submission to their authority. Pastors have to give an account to God one day for the flock entrusted to their care. That alone sends shivers down my spine. Just that thought. So, there is accountability. And so the pastor's task is a very challenging task. He keeps watch over your soul. And when he notices anything that is amiss, he very gently and lovingly will point it out to you so that you can correct it and be right with God 
and be right with uh, fellow believers. So submission to authority. We are living in a time when authority is being questioned. But when you submit to God-given authority, you will be filled with joy and your spiritual leaders will be filled with joy. United, obedience, submission. May God give us the grace to fulfill it. Amen. For more videos like this, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Grace Gospel English Church Toronto. Thank you.